Artists, are you struggling to improve? I've got five tasty tricks to help you level up your art skills. Watch this video. Hey, are you a super fan of my videos and artwork and want a way to get more? For as little as a dollar a month, you can all through the magic of Patreon. Head over to patreon.com slash drstew underscore art and sign up right now. How's it going, everybody? This is Derek Stewart. Thanks for checking out my video. As you see in the background, I'm going to be rendering in a time-lapse form a pinup of what I'm calling Lady Venom. I have no idea if the character exists, but let's go with it. It's cool. But today's video is less about Venom and more about leveling up your art skills. A lot of us sometimes have trouble hitting our stride when we're starting out and sometimes even later in life when you're more seasoned with your art. Um, but today I'm going to give you my five top tasty tricks to level up your art skills, okay? All right, stick with me. Okay, so number one, I gotta say, you gotta get out of your head. You gotta realize that each drawing is a snapshot of your skill level, as well as your emotional physical state at that moment, okay? If you're tired, you're hungry or whatever, keep that in mind. So don't succumb to the feeling that you can't draw just because one particular drawing isn't working out. Becoming a great artist takes time, patience, and diligent practice. Very important. Number two. Draw what you love. This may be an obvious point to make, but if you're drawing something that doesn't inspire you, it's very likely that you won't feel the same drive to push yourself to do your very best. And if you're not doing your very best or pushing yourself, how can you expect to improve? Am I right? Okay, number three, fall in love with the process, not the picture. This one is really hard for me, but it's so important. As I said before, the drawing you're working on now is just a snapshot of your current skill. So when you finish it, put it behind you and be proud that you saw it through, but don't ever consider it to be your swan song. When you set a goal that is literally defined by one sketchbook page at a time, consider that you're building towards something bigger. Nobody can take a single rung of ladder and reach the ceiling. You've got to use the whole ladder to get to the top, right? So sure, take in the view from time to time, but more importantly, enjoy the climb itself. Fall in love with the process, not the picture. All right, this is a big one. Number four, define your goals and seek those that can help you reach them. I often get people coming to me who say things like, man, you're so good, I, I, I could never draw like that. I wish I could draw like you. Honestly, that shit drives me nuts because I don't necessarily believe in raw talent, okay? doesn't exist in my mind. I believe we may all by default see things in our own unique way. Some may be more accurate than others, but I believe everyone has the ability to improve if they have the genuine drive to do so. And part of that drive requires an ability to define your artistic goals. What do you want to be able to do? As an animator, it's my job to instantly express a character's emotion and for that character to be instantly appealing. So I gravitated toward pinup through cartooning because it was a way for me to focus in on just the simplicity of, of line art in an immediate, uh, immediately appealing way that's pr provocative. Uh, so I'm constantly training my brain to keep my characters essentially simple while putting the viewer's imagination into overdrive. On top of that, I don't ever believe that I know all the answers. I, I looked at contemporary masters in my own style like Dean Yeagle and classic masters outside of my style like Rembrandt to help inform where I am now and where I could be. And I'm constantly checking out all of those amazing artists actively sharing their process with the world here on YouTube and Instagram and ArtStation and picking out uh, the things that resonate with me. So definitely define what it is you want to achieve. Find the voices that can point you in the right direction and check out the interpretation of that information in your next drawing. Lather, rinse, repeat. Number five about the tools. The last point I want to make is about tools. Forget about the tools. Honestly, it doesn't matter what kind of pencils I'm using. Markers dry up. Technology is constantly changing. More power to you if you can afford the biggest, brightest drawing tablet or the 9,000 piece marker set. They're fun. Trust me. But they have no real special powers. Your ability is defined by you. Spoiler alert. Familiarize yourself with the principles and the methods first and then exercise those ideas through any tools you can get your hands on. As a point of perspective, my grandparents, they trip down to Mexico all the time. It's just, you know, you're, they're retired, they get to enjoy Mexico, it's great. They came back one, one year with this awesome tile painting. Um, it was magnificent uh, detail. But the guy that did it, did it completely with his thumbnail. 
that's just something to think about. Okay, that is my top five tips. I hope this was uh, useful for you. I hope you guys are doing well with your artwork. Um, please feel free to share any that you uh, want to. Tag me in your Instagram posts at, at uh, drstew underscore art. And I will see you guys in the next video. Take care.